So I'm going to take you through an example, an EMG example, an electromyography example of collecting data on the triceps brachii and the biceps brachii for push-ups. And we're going to compare standard push-up here to a push-up with one, the right hand on a ball and then two hands on the ball. Here's the image of the right hand on the ball. Whoop, sorry. And these are the data that I'm going to show you how to collect. Um, just a side note, um, I basically made up the data a bit, but, um, but the, the process is the same. So we're going to collect the MVP for both the triceps and the biceps. And then we are going to collect data for triceps and biceps for a standard push-up for participant one and participant two, for a push-up with the right hand on the ball and both hands on the ball. So a reminder, for electrode application, you want to clean the site. If you have to shave the site, that needs to be done. Place the electrodes along the long axis of the muscle with an inter-electrode distance of about two centimeters, and always have two electrodes and one ground for good data. Once we have the electrodes on, we need to run a maximal voluntary contraction to get the, the the activation level at which we are going to compare all activities and then the units would be percent MVC. And again, why do we do the max voluntary contraction or the percent MVC is to compare day-to-day -day measurements, to compare person-to-person, -person, um, or um, between studies. So for the biceps brachii, we are trying to elicit a max contraction from the biceps brachii and to elicit a max contraction we are resisting of the moment arm we are applying a resistance torque or an extensor torque and the participant is trying to overcome that extensor torque with a flexor torque which the internal force of a flexor torque is the biceps brachii so here are the data, channel one or in red is the biceps brachii, channel two in blue is the triceps brachii, and so you can see that this activity elicited the most um, EMG activation out of the biceps brachii, and we get that number, the max number for the maximal voluntary contraction, and that becomes our denominator to give us percent MVC. We repeat the same process, but now you can see that the research assistant is pushing or applying resistance to um, an elbow extension torque. So they're applying a force times a moment arm. So they are creating a flexor torque and the participant is trying to elicit a max contraction of the triceps brachii is countering with an extensor torque. And here again we had channel one which is the biceps and we can see the triceps. We elicited a large muscle activation which will be what we normalize all the other trials to. So then we have the participant do the standard push-up, the push-up with the right hand on the ball, and a push-up with two hands on the ball, collect the EMG or the yeah the EMG activation of the triceps brachii and the biceps brachii, and then divide it by that uh, output from the maximum voluntary contraction to get a percent MVC. So here's a sample of what we would get. Again, channel one is the biceps brachii, channel two is the triceps. Um, a push-up is focused between these two muscles on the triceps brachii. So you can see you probably have the um, up phase and the down phase with a rest, up phase, down phase, and very minimal activation out of the biceps brachii. We would take that raw signal from the previous slide, right? And we would full wave rectify it and create a linear envelope so you would get a nice smooth tracing of the push-up activities. From the previous tracings we would get a number, the max number for the tracings. You can you can 
um, just show those tracings to show the the relationship between EMG and the the push-ups or you can grab the the peak value so we grabbed the MVC values for triceps and biceps right and they are in millivolts so we have for participant one and participant two and then we have the data in millivolts for triceps biceps standard push-up right hand on the ball and both hands on the ball so let's go through the the um, calculations. So for part one, for the standard push-up, you would take, and we're going to just focus on participant one, but to get percent MVC, you would take the peak from the triceps for the push-up, 1.551, divide it by the max EMG activation for the max contraction, 2.798, and you would get a percentage of 55.4 percent all right so this standard push-up basically um, taxed those muscles at about 55 percent of max you do the same thing for the right hand on the ball 1.361 divided by 2.798 to get 48.6 percent and then finally for both hands on the ball 2.246 divided by 2.798 to get 80.3% of MVC. And then we're going to compare those data to what's published in the literature. We're going to compare these data to um, a paper by Freeman et al. that is uh, basically quantifying muscle patterns and spinal loads, which we're not considering during various forms of the push up. Here are the data. I just cut the data from the right, right triceps brachii, right biceps brachii. It has all the push-ups um, listed, not in the same order, but you have to find, you look down and you find your standard push-up was 66% with a standard deviation of 17.6, so a reasonable variability. And what we found was 55.4%. So in the ballpark. We would compare right hand on ball. They found 58 plus or minus 28.3%, so a bigger variability, um, probably due to the awkwardness. Uh, you know, if people are more familiar with this exercise, it's probably a little bit easier for them. And our participant was working at 48.6% MVC. And then finally, both hands on the ball. So two on two balls, 66, plus and minus 25, bigger variability than standard, as would be expected. And our participant had 80.3% MVC, which is you know fairly higher than 66, but well within the normal distribution of those data. And then you could calculate and compare to the biceps brachii. I'll just give a little flag that since I kind of made up my data um, the my percent MVCs for the bicep are much higher than would be expected you would expect for a, um, a push-up activity that the biceps brachii are very minimal as you can see here in the four and five and seven percent except for very different um, types of push-up exercises compared to the triceps so have fun analyzing your data